in. Yay. Okay, so let's go read this example sentence. Well, So it is um, the Duchess um, for where we met for where we met it is a thing that is important uh, a things things that is important um, you sense it um, and we say you send you send is um sorry I forgot again you send is like it is too it's a priority acknowledge not really the priority it's a priority so here I might say prioritize prioritizes priority so definitely not spelled like that um, <laughs> I don't know what that is Triton. So what does the Duchess prioritize? She prioritize the things, the important things. Important for who? For her? For where meto. So, so the Duchess prioritizes so, things prioritize that are important for where meto. Hi. Perfect. Yeah. Kind of weird to wrap your head around it when you like you first see it, but makes sense once it's laid out for you. Um, do you know what yori tells us? So it's wa yami yori mo kurokatta. Yami yori mo more than more than um. So it's wa so it's wa yori kami yori mo kurokatta darker than the shadow. Yes, that guy is darker than shadow. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, Yori darker, attaches... Even. Even darker. Yeah, mo even is that mo. Mo krokata. Even darker mm -hmm. than shadow. So yeah, Yori is attached to the smaller item. Do you happen to know it's attached to the bigger item? What we could have attached to Soitsu in the sentence? What could have been attached to the bigger item? Would be a, whole. A, a, a whole. Right. So it'd be soi tsu no ho ga or ho wa in this context. Yami yori. So ho attaches to the bigger item and yori attaches to the smaller item. Um, Can you read this so word for me? Yeah. It would if if we don't have the whole there, it still means the same thing. Yes. So the whole, in, just to make it more, more explicit. Right. So this is a interesting thing. That's a difference between Japanese and English. Both of us can have apples are bigger than strawberries, something like that. Um, but in English, we could just say apples are bigger. We don't actually have to specify that strawberries are smaller. In Japanese, it's the opposite. You want to say strawberries are smaller. That's the more natural way of putting things. So it's almost always going to be like the the less than is going to be illustrated and whole tends to be dropped. Um, in the sentence, we're going to see whole is left in there because the, um, the author is being very specific. It's, it's a Duchess writing. But a lot of times you'll just will see yori without whole. And in English, a lot of time you'll just will see whole without yori. Because right here, if I if we we're translating it, it's easier to say Hi. that guy is bigger than darkness rather than saying darkness is less big than soitsu. Yeah, that sounds weird in English. Um. Mm. 
Can you read this word for me? Hi. Tune no gotoku. Hi. So tune no gotoku means like what, like, like usual, like something that you, that is expected of the person. Tune no gotoku. Like a fancy word. And now you get to go read the sentence. So she uses watakushi as her personal pronoun. That's just a old lady way to say I. Um, and here's that yori, and here's that hole. So, hi. So, watakushi wa tsune no koto, tsune no gotoku. ジブンよりも悪めとに似とって大切なことの方を優先しますのであなたへの推し法で。は結界しましょう。私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私
のでハウエバーあなたへの水褒めれは撤回しましょう。Let's us remove the exile that was meant for you, that was for you. Yeah, I guess Let this is saying, exile. I guess in this context, this is actually saying, um, I prioritize what a met though, things that are precious to what a met more than I prioritize myself. You are correct in this specific context. It just is very like interesting because Dibun Yori can be used to mean you. But with the whole over here, that makes it really obvious, contextually, when you think about it longer than two seconds. So you're saying, I prioritize Willamette more Wait, than I prioritize me. myself. I'm sorry. I am, I missed you up on this. But I think the reason I say myself is because of these kanji is like this jibun is the part of me, right? The first kanji is, is, is the... um. So jibun is, is one G self. as in self. It's, it's not myself or yourself. It's one self. So it can be used it to refer to other people to mean themselves and yourself and things like that. And it's 100% context based whether or not what meaning that gets with jibun. It's not actually mean myself, even though you might assume it does. It doesn't mean that it's a uh, one self. Uh, so in this specific context with the holes right here, it's definitely uh, not what I translated as earlier, which is I prioritize this I... more than this. And this is myself. So I prioritize what I meant more than I prioritize my own feelings. So because of that, Hi. So in this, this. Case, yeah, she is waiting. She is waiting between two options. One Hi. is maintaining her law and order so, so. by not letting like by not reprimanding an order that she previously had. Hi, hi. That would mean prioritizing herself, not 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 like counterman her own command, but because of what is good for water metal. She would let him come back just so that she can, Hi. so that he can help her fix the problem. Yes. Yep. Right. That's what this. Yes. Basically. Is. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um. Well, so I think we're done on this page, right? Let's double check. Okay. Awesome. So this is our kanji check. Page. I'm just gonna quickly have you do this guy. Hi. Uh. Tut tut. Kizuite imashita. Hi. Kizuite. What is kizuite? Kizuite imashita. Of course I. Kizuku kiz to to realize to realize. Hi. To realize. Perfect. Kizuite. Hi. And do you know how to read this word? Because. Uh, not he. Ki. It's actually o. Kiko. Okosu. Like okiru. Yes, like okiru. Okosu. Hi. Same kanji. Similar meaning. Hi. So. Okiru would be like I okiru. That's that um transitive, even transitive verb right here. So I okiru. Okosu is I okiru someone else. So in English, our wake verb um is both. You can say I wake up, I wake up Sam. Both are grammatically correct. Uh, this is why it's so hard for English speakers to <laughs> tell the difference between transitive and intransitive pairs. Um, but um Okosu is to wake something up. And in this context of waking up, they mean to cause problems. Right? Um, for example, okiru can be used to refer to earthquakes. Jishin ga okiru means an earthquake happened and an earthquake woke up. So what does okosu mean? Okosu means to wake something else up. Yeah, causes something, something up, you cause something way. to happen to wake up. Perfect. And can you read this random 
sentence from our past? Example sentence from our past. Hi. It is. Um, it is uh, now okay. It cannot care about. You mesh your ogere ogerare nai. Agerare nai. Um, agerare nai. Hi. If I your name, if I can hear your name. Then, meshio agerare nai. Oh, if I don't hear your name, you get no food. Exactly. I can't give you no food you if, you, if, I, food. if you don't, if I, if I can't hear your name. Perfect. Yep. So, na kereba is that if this, then that. Um, I'm not sure if this occurs in the next page or not, but just so you know, if a sentence ends with na kereba, this turns into if this doesn't happen, then something bad's going to happen. It insinuates like, oh, and, uh, and it turns into I must. Hi. There's, there's nothing afterwards. Nakereba. Um, do you remember how to read this must. word? To wake something up? Ko. Um, okosu. Mm, oko, okosu. Hi. What is the eba, which is that nakereba for we saw earlier? Form of okosu. Hi, it would be kikoseba. I mean, okoseba. Hi, okoseba. Hi, hi. And this is a sentence we saw earlier, not today, but a different day. Do you remember how to read this kanji? Mondai. Hi, mondai problem. And can you read this example sentence? Hi, it is Monday o okoseba suiho tsuru. If we, if the problem is caused, if a question is raised. I think a problem is caused is more accurate in this context. Exile. Hi. If a problem is caused, exile will occur. Exile Perfect. will, it, we will do. We will, we will do be ex exiled. We'll do the exiled. Hi. Perfect. We will be exiled or we will pause. It, it, it is just, I I, I guess I will be exiled. This is future tense because it's sudo. And tsuiho is exile, right? To be exiled, to do exile. So if be a problem, uh, sorry, if a problem occurs and you caused it, that's okosu, right? So if you cause a problem or if I cause a problem, I will be exiled. I will have to exile myself. I will, I will be off. I will be kicked out. Hi. Um, and this is another sentence we saw earlier. Um, so. Hi. And this is futata bi, meaning one more time. Yep, one more time. And you see in this sentence, it Once says, suishin, futatabi, watashi wo juiho suru o tsumori nara, which is, if you plan on ha, ha, I being exiled, so here I'm the object, I am forced to be exiled. You know, the exile works. To do the exile, who's doing it? The subject. So, I am exiled. Um, Hi. Do you know what tadashi means? Don't mind. Like, it's like and, therefore, kind of, and. Yeah, it's it's more like well, however, it's like a fancy however, kind of like shikashi, tadashi, kind of like it, it's it's used in a like there is an exception to what I said before. So her previous sentence, she said, um, okay, I will take away my order that you will be exiled. However. Blah 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 blah. Hi. So it is Tadashi Hito Sudemo. Hito Tadashi Hito Sudemo. Nanika Mondai O Okoseba Futatabi Sui Ho Shimas Karane. 
Kara ne. Oh, he's saying kara as in because. Yeah. The the, the explanation. Okay. Um. Tadashi, however, he taught to the more by oneself. Even if it's by oneself. Nani ka mondai o kotse ba. You're thinking about the verb hitori. Hitori is one person. Hitotsu is one thing. It's by one, one thing. Hi. It's say even even just one problem. Even Hi. even if you just cause one problem. Nani ka mondai any problem. Hi. So long as it's it, a problem. So, so. And then more, she's saying just one. So, so. Then Even if it's only one. Ho, she, I, I, I will once again sui ho you. Sui ho she must. Hi. Um, you being the object here. Kara ne? She's saying. Rem, like, she explaining to him. So, so. Do you understand? She so basically saying basically, that. yeah. That's a good way of illustrating how she's put in. It feels very like sitting here. So you show she must kind of It feels very like aggressive. <laughs> I would put that. Uh because it's like this is like very like unpolitish kind of letter in a way. So she's like, you know, yeah, um uh, I care Hi. about Wilmet more than I care about any kind of problems you cause, but if you cause any more problems. I'll just exile you again. Um, and hey, Mani, in my case, it would be like, if you play class one time, just one more time. <laughs> and I think we're gonna stop I... here, even though it's two minutes till, because that way all the new vocabulary will be fresh when you read the next sentence. I got it. Yeah. I believe there's just one more left of her um le letter. I think that's just like the end of her letter or the next line is. This is two more lines for the end of her letter and then we go to Nebari's diary. So yeah, we'll definitely finish her letter next time. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. And you kind of get to find out hi, why hi. nobody was exiled. <laughs> He was doing some kind of jiken. <laughs> it's like experiment. Jiken. Experiment. Yeah, he did some kind of magical experience at our no nos. He's double checking he knows. <laughs> uh.